Welcome to Creepy Pasta with Pop Lock. Uh, I'm, in this video, I'm gonna discuss like one of my scariest moments, well, basically the scariest thing that ever happened to me in my life. Uh, this one uh, definitely is the most scariest thing ha that has ever happened to me. Uh, just thinking about it, uh, it kind of makes me relive the situation, but it makes me, I just remember it as if it was yesterday. Uh, <clears throat> hopefully everyone can heal me, uh, hear me throughout this video. Uh, so I'm doing this actually Thursday so I just scheduled it for the weekend so I figured it'd be something different and before I get started and decide you know before I share anything with my little scary story uh, if you guys would like your stories uh, shared in a video um, like any subscriber of you are out there uh, I'll be willing to share your story in a video and then uh, I'll tell your story in a video and I'll give my reactions based on what happened and all the stuff what I think and all that kind of stuff so I thought that would be probably uh, pretty cool but if you guys are interested I'll do that for you guys you know share your story in a video and uh, you can just send me your story via you know like message me your story or just uh, you know contact me here on YouTube or any way that you can you know Facebook or Twitter you can uh, message me on there or any way that you can so if you would like your story shared uh, I'm willing to share anyone else's stories out there in your scary moments uh, you know your scariest moments that happened in your life uh, I'm willing to do that so uh, I just wanted to say that before I get started but um, there was this one time where I lived uh, in a different city I'm, I'm still I still live here in Michigan and uh, uh, I lived you know I moved to a new house and you know uh, I didn't I end up moving by surprise and uh, I was taken away from my friends by you know all the friends I was in middle school with uh, back in the sixth grade and I ended up moving to a different city going to a different school a brand new middle school and uh, I went to uh, the high school uh, eventually with the same amount of friends that I made and uh, you know at my new middle school that I ended up attending because uh, I went to you know seventh eighth and then throughout my high school career I went to like uh, end up moving to a different city and you know making different friends and uh, I ended up losing all the friends that I have that I used to have in the past but uh, once I moved into a new house, uh, it was just this one time where uh, it was the summertime, I remember. Uh, I think it was after my freshman year of uh, high school. Uh, it, was in a, it was during the summertime, and it was this really bad storm uh, that came out of nowhere. It was a nice day, and it, even was, it wasn't even scheduled. I, you, we didn't even get any warnings about it on TV, on the Weather Channel, because, you know, on the Weather Channel, they would definitely remind you and warn you of any sort of severe weather that's in your area that's headed your way, and you would get those alerts. You even hear, like, the tornado sirens, you know, tornado sirens and, uh, you know, the sirens that go out, you know, go off during, like, when it's, like, an emergency, and then you get, like, the emergency notice on TV and, you know, the emergency alerts and stuff on the via the Weather Channel. But this storm came out of nowhere. It was just like a nice day. It was like a warm, you know, a normal sunny day. And it was like around 90 degrees or something like that. It was definitely hot as hell, I want to say. And uh, it was just a nice day out. And the storm appeared out of nowhere. I was just in my room playing games. I was on PS3. Uh, this was when I had the old PlayStation 3, you know, the fat version. You know, the one that was backwards compatible. When they, back when they used to still make those PlayStation 3s that were backwards compatible where you could play both your... PlayStation 1 games and your PlayStation 2 games and also your PS3 games obviously on the system all at the same time and you could you know put your memory card in there and have you know save your data save save your data and all that kind of stuff but uh anyway I was playing uh I think I was playing like Call of Duty uh Call of Duty 4 with some friends and uh we were trying to get the we were trying to install the air conditioning system because when we moved into the new house uh, apparently the house didn't have any sort of AC so I don't understand that. like wh why would you not who wants to live in a house with no air conditioning system when it's the summertime you know summertime is when it gets the weather gets extremely hot you know uh, blazing hot temperatures and you know it gets crazy and sometimes uh, it, it can reach the it can get very dangerous you know if you're not if you're not in, you know if you get too hot you can get like a heat stroke you can get sick and all types of you know stuff that could happen and some people actually die from you know intense heat from dangerous heat temperatures and stuff from not uh, uh, staying hydrated and you know being extremely hot and not having AC on 
and uh, we were just trying to install like the air conditioning system uh, for the house and we ended up getting like portable air conditioning systems you know two portable air conditioner you know two portable uh, air conditioning systems for uh, specific rooms around the house that we spend the most time in um, so we were trying to get those installed and the storm just came out of nowhere and it, it, this crazy storm the rains the rain started to pick up uh, it was hail coming out of the sky it was just like coming down it was just slamming on the roof it's, it, it was almost as if rocks were you know falling down from the sky and you know they were just hitting the windows some of the windows were cracking a little bit too and you know it was it just got extremely loud the rain it was heavy rain hail and the wind started to pick up and the sky got super dark and I didn't know what was going on it came out of nowhere and then uh, the lights started to flicker uh, my system uh, my TV was my uh, system cut off by itself so I knew the uh, power had went out both my TV, the light, and uh, my PS3 just shut off completely. So uh, luckily, I didn't lose any save data. So once the, you know, that, that was a good thing because you know it was I, I didn't lose any save data and you know the system didn't uh, corrupt any of my game data from any of my video games that I had saved that I was in the process of playing outside of Call of Duty and other you know first-person shooters. But uh, this it, this tornado just randomly touched down in my backyard. So it it just it just it was like a spiral or something like that. I don't know how to describe it because I'd never seen a tornado or experienced a tornado in my life before. But this this was the first time I really saw something that was on that level of uh, you know like a tornado, and uh, it just it just definitely touched down in my backyard and it was just right in front of me and my window was just right here on the side and I was just you know watching it because uh, we, we were trying to connect like one of the AC systems to the window and uh, just, you know to get it hooked up and we it was just right in front of me and then I didn't even know what to do I was just super shocked I just couldn't even move I was just standing there just 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 shocked I was just frozen you know I was so, I was scared shitless you know, I was always, I was, I always used to be scared of like those crazy storms, you know, with tornadoes and stuff. You know, ever since I was little, I always used to be scared of that, and that's why, you know, when a severe weather alert comes, you know, not severe thunderstorms, but when it's like a tornado warning or something like that. Luckily, I haven't been hit by, you know, struck by a tornado in my area. Uh, it's always like, you know, being in Michigan, we barely get any sort of severe weather. You know, natural disasters, tor you know, tornadoes earthquakes uh tsunamis hurricanes we don't get none of that and the only really thing that the only crazy weather that we get around here is just like a lot of snow during the winter time but uh i'd rather deal with that than having you know have to having to deal with just constant tornadoes left and right uh earthquakes getting you know being targeted for uh, being a target spot for like hurricanes and all that stuff we don't we don't get that out here and that's why i like being here in michigan so and I think I want to stay here. I don't think I'd rather be in anywhere else a part of uh, the country or any sort of state or uh, country. I'd rather just stay here in Michigan since we don't get none of that. So I can deal with the snow, just shovel the snow or, you know, plow it. But, you know, I'm just pretty used to it. So I've always been in Michigan all my life. But just going back to the story, it's just that that tornado just touched down in my backyard and it didn't, it didn't, it wasn't like a complete tornado. It was just like a spiral. It just made a big ass hole in the backyard, and uh, you know the trees started to uh, sway, you know, back and forth. And uh, it was just one particular tree that that was directly behind our house in our backyard that was, you know, large enough to crush the house. So if it was to fall on the house, it would definitely crush everything. It would just completely destroy the house, you know, and shatter and just smash it completely. So the luckily the tornado didn't even uh it wasn't even a complete tornado it was just like a it's, it was almost like a it it touched down but it just didn't you know complete its rotation or so i don't know how to really explain that but it it touched down and made a big ass hole in my backyard and then it just completely vanished out of nowhere but the thing is my power went out and knocked down power lines the power lines went down the poles went down and then the the one particular tree that I was uh, addressing is that you know this giant ass tree in my backyard, um, it was swaying back and forth, and it was coming down towards the house. It was starting to fall. So it would if it if if it would have came down to a, uh, if it would have uh, fell down towards my house, 
uh, towards the house I was in, uh, it would have crushed me. It would have killed, you know, my family. It would have killed my, you know, my parents, my brother and me. And I wouldn't even be alive, you know, making this video right now. But luckily, as the tree started to come down from the um, the heavy ass winds, the intense winds, right when it's about to come, you know, hit the house, it just like it almost just moved to my neck, my next door neighbor. It didn't. Good thing. You know, thank God that it didn't crush my neighbor's house, but it, it hit, it, uh, it landed on the gate, uh, my neighbor's gate, my next door neighbor's uh, gate, and it crushed it completely. And it was just like a big ass little pile uh, in the backyard. And uh, although all the power lines was down, I was just like, I was just, whew, man, I just can't even describe it. I was just, whew, I was just at a loss for words. Just like, what if that tree landed? And hit the house. I wouldn't even be right here. I wouldn't even have. I wouldn't. I didn't even have a YouTube channel. I wasn't even on YouTube at the time. I didn't have any, you know, equipment. I didn't have a camera to record my videos or anything. I didn't even have a YouTube presence. Sure, I was watching YouTube videos uh, from time to time, but uh, I didn't. I wasn't even on YouTube at all. I didn't even exist on here. So just thinking about it, like, what if the tree fell on top of the house it would have it would have killed me my parents just basically everybody that was in the house all at once you know i wouldn't even be right here i wouldn't even be alive today i wouldn't even exist so it's just just thinking back that was just like the scariest thing i just thank god that um it didn't even land on the house it just right when it was starting to fall it almost seemed like it was gonna fall but we're just watching it like just watching as if it was coming down this way but at the last second it just you know sway at towards the uh to the right side towards my neighbor's uh backyard and crushed his gate so uh just thinking about it i just oh that was just the scariest shit ever like i, I feel like it was it, i feel like it was a near-death experience for me and that was just like the scariest shit that ever happened and just thinking about it, you know, it was only a couple of years ago. That was several years ago, four years ago or something like that. Well, I believe it was just like a long time ago, but I still remember it. And I'll just never forget it, you know. And I'm still scared of tornadoes to this day. I still haven't experienced a tornado, uh, you know, in real life. You know, a full-fledged tornado that was just, you know, in route of hitting my area, you know, on its way of crushing, you know, destroying, you know, houses and all this kind of stuff, debris flying everywhere. I have never experienced that before. And uh, I don't know if anyone else out there has ever experienced a tornado. I don't know what it's like. I never know. I don't ever want to know what it's like and experience it because uh, I was completely frozen during the time when I saw that tornado touch down in my backyard. And thankfully, it did not, you know, it completely stopped, it vanished, but the winds were still going crazy, hail was coming down, heavy rain, you know, intense winds, you know, trees being falling and all that stuff. And not to mention that this house that I was in, this new house that I moved into, uh, the power was connected to the electricity. And whoever built the house, they connected the electricity with the power. So it, basically if the power went out, I had no water. So I couldn't take a shower, uh, none of the toilets were flush, you couldn't run the sinks or anything. We couldn't use the water, or we couldn't use the water, we had no power. I couldn't play any video games, and I was out for, you know, I, I was without power for like two weeks at the match, or over two weeks. And, you know, I was still uh, in high school, and you know, at the time. But um, thankfully it was just uh, this summertime, I didn't have to go to school or anything. So I was just like bored from for like two weeks. I didn't have nothing to play. Uh, I think all I had was uh, my DS at the time, my PSP. I was just playing uh, Vice City Stories. Well, not Vice City Stories, uh, Grand Theft Auto, Liberty City Stories. But uh, we had a generator just to keep the refrigerator running, and uh, you know, a TV, and then a fan, and then uh, you know, a DVD player just to watch movies on and stuff, and then. Just to keep my phone charged up, I would just, you know, plug it in every now and then if my phone would run low on battery. And we just kept eating out, you know. We didn't really, we couldn't cook anything. It was too hot to cook or anything like that. We just kept getting, you know, fast food. We got pizza and all that kind of stuff. But it just sucks that I couldn't have, we couldn't use the water. And uh, and I know this will probably sound embarrassing to share, but I had to wash up in a fucking bucket of water and for basically two long weeks. Because it took so long because we weren't the only ones without power. It was like 
thousands upon thousands of people around the neighborhood, not just in our neighborhood, in our city. It was people in, you know, in the state as a whole. And it took so long for DTE to get to us. They did, they had no idea when they would be able to get the power on. And we could have been out without the power, you know, without power for like a month. I was just thinking it might be like a month until then because the damage from the storms and those intense winds, especially from that little mini, that tornado that attempted to, uh, form in my backyard and with that big ass hole and knock down trees we had to get people to uh cut down that tree that big ass tree that fell down in the backyard uh towards my neighbor's gate uh get the repairs we had to wait for the, the tree to get cut down completely they had to move the power lines we had to get new poles for them to set up the uh the neighborhood's power lines and the uh transformer blew out we had to wait for all that stuff to get fixed up. They had to get new poles for the electricity, you know, to set up the power. It was just so much time that had gone by. It was just, it was taking so long. And I was just missing playing. I was so bored. I couldn't even play the game. I just wanted to, you know, play one of my games. But uh, we had a generator powerful enough to uh, to power a game system. Uh, I was playing the GameCube, I remember. I had Super Smash Bros. going. I was just playing random matches. I would... It was Super Smash Bros. Melee for the GameCube. I, you know, I, we didn't, we couldn't play uh, online or, or anything. I was just playing the living shit out of Super Smash Bros. each and every day. Just to, if I if I wasn't playing my PSP, I was probably playing my GameCube or on my phone or just watching TV. It was just hell. It just sucked. You know, we didn't even have any air conditioner in there. You know, it was just extremely awful. It was like hell. You know, and just it was. Not be able to use water, washing up in that fucking bucket, you know, of water and stuff. You know, fill the water, you know, fill the bucket with bottles of water just to wash, you know, to wash up, just to brush my teeth and wash my face and all that kind of stuff. That shit was horrible. I'll never forget that. That was a horrible experience for me. It was not only a scary moment, like a near death experience that I got through and survived, thank, thank, uh, because of God Himself. The man upstairs, I uh, I couldn't be more thankful today, just thinking about it and just telling the story, but that's the scariest thing that has ever happened to me, uh, by far, there is nothing else that has ever happened to me that is on that level of uh, scariness uh, from throughout my life experience, uh, I don't know if anyone else had a similar story, you know, a similar story to this, or, you know, ever experienced a, a crazy ass storm like that, and maybe like, right there and you're being right in the middle of it and uh a tornado touching down right in your area so i'm just i can't i just can't be any more thankful that I, I survived that and i feel like just thinking back i survived that i made it through i'm still alive today standing strong and you know i'm on youtube now i have a youtube presence now i didn't even have one at the time but i never expected to really share that story but um, i wanted to share that with you guys and uh that's my creepy pasta from my story from my experience and uh i hope you guys have enjoyed it i don't know what you guys reactions are from just hearing that and just imagine being in my shoes just to see that a storm touching down in your backyard and you're just completely frozen just standing there looking at it not moving because you're completely shocked at uh, what you're seeing and the fact that the thing was unannounced and we didn't get any warnings that's we got that's just how you know how lucky and blessed we got and blessed we were at that specific moment that the tornado completely stopped the tree didn't crush our house or none of that we survived even with the heavy tree damage and the power lines being down being out without power for a standard period of time and no water for like over two weeks and stuff and you know that's that's just like a I just that's an unforgivable unforgettable moment for me so I'll never forget that I just oh, I'm just glad I made it I just oh, whew, man once I saw that tree I just I was just covering my arm I couldn't see but once I saw it sway to the right I was just my heart just was pounding like crazy I was like what is this going on? I was like, what's going on? Oh. <laughs> but that's my story. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. Um, 
That crazy ass that, that bird making all that noise outside. I don't know what that is. But um if you guys would like your story shared, um I'm willing to share uh stories your stories in a video like this and get my reactions and uh maybe this could be a series, uh Creepy Pasta with Pablo. Maybe I could start this as a brand new series or something like that. Uh, I don't know what you guys think about it, but I figured I'd just try something else again, something else different. I'm just still trying to get other ideas. This idea is not from me. It's from uh, Ricky, uh, who suggested this. So I was asking others about it. Someone else, you know, some other people thought it was pretty cool and pretty a pretty good idea, you know, until it gets boring uh, from, you know, a direct quote from a uh, zombie killer. He thought it, it was also a good idea. So I figured I'd try it, you know, and see what you guys think about it. So if you guys would like your story shared or your scary moment shared or scariest thing that ever happened to you or your creepypasta stories shared, uh, just feel free to contact me. And, uh, you can send me your stories and then um, I'll, I'll do them in a video and, you know, share them in a video like this and get my reactions right after. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I know they're, they've been extremely long videos, but, you know, some people like longer videos, too, so I got that, too, so hopefully that's also a good thing, so uh, thank you guys again for watching.